Well, mate, 200, it's been quite the journey, hasn't it? Some pretty cool achievements along the way. How, how does it feel to get to that milestone? Yeah, very proud. Um, a very, uh, yeah, I, th I think humbled by the, the whole journey and experiences that I've been fortunate enough to have over the, the last you know, 11, 12 years. So, um, you know, to be all at, at Essendon as well, um, team I grew up barracking for, uh, it's pretty cool, yeah. When you think back to the, the dreadlocks and when you first <laughs> arrived and, and to, to where you are now, you spoke about the journey. How do you think you've evolved as a person in play? Yeah, I think, you know, coming to the club just full of excitement and, and, and whatnot. And uh, I think, you, you know, to play that first game, get that one out of the way and then, you know, looking to cement your spot in the team over that next couple of years and then, I think then it's just growing and looking for team success over the next period. And um, yeah, I think uh, just you know had some unbelievable teammates along the journey, a uh, bunch of different coaches, built some you know enormous relationships that I'll have for the rest of my life. And um, yeah, and still trying to I think still trying to get the best out of myself as a player and a person. Been through a fair bit of adversity, injury, and obviously some issues that some of the club has had. How, what have you learned about yourself as a person over the journey? Yeah, I think it's uh, footy can be a tough caper at times, and, and certainly had its ups and downs, and um, it can certainly build a, a hell of a lot of resilience, um, and that's something that I've certainly taken from it. And and part of me, uh, I'd, I'd rather a a, uh, a journey of um, you know going through hard times and, and different circumstances and having to work through that. I think some of my proudest moments are, are getting through adversity um, and coming out the other side stronger. So um, yeah, I've loved every minute of it. That is resilience you've had to draw on in the past six weeks, and then it makes obviously the game just gone a bit more sweeter. Yeah, no doubt. I think um, I think you do as part of experience. You learn to get off the roller coaster of emotion of highs and lows, and um, certainly haven't been playing the type of footy that we would like. But um, I think the messaging's been really consistent over the last little period, and the energy within the four walls has been great. And I think if you keep that um, keep that going, you're going to get results like we did on the weekend. And um, you know, hopefully that can be a little catalyst for us moving forward. How have you gone about harnessing the energy from Saturday night? Obviously a very memorable win and against the old town, you, you approach it this week. Yeah, I think it's um, trying to keep, keep the reviews the same, keep it consistent throughout the week, train with real energy and purpose. And um, yeah, I think the results will end up taking care of itself. Don't want to focus on the outcomes too much. Just really bury into the, you know, loving the process along the way. Was there ever a time, you talk about the resilience, was there ever a time where you thought 200 was never going to make it, it just was too hard and you thought about giving it up at all? Uh, no, nah, no, I don't think so. I never really even looked towards games played or anything like that. Um, and yeah, definitely not a time where I felt like giving it away. Um, yeah, I've always, you know, absolutely, we spoke about having tough times, but um, you know, it always comes back to the, the people that I'm involved with, um, the environment that we've created here, the culture that we're building, um, you know, and trying to play a, a part in that as well. So, um, no, I've, I've loved the whole journey, yeah. 300? How many? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I was, thinking, I was talking about that with a, with a mate the other night. Fletch played 400. I he's just <laughs> outrageous. So, uh, I don't know if 300, I've got that in the tank, but we'll keep chipping away. Obviously, down a few soldiers on the weekend. Uh, where are they at? Has there been any more illness, especially the club, or feel good? I think we I think we're holding pretty tight at the moment. Um, yeah, a few boys go down last week, but uh, got them back in and amongst the club now. So um, they were trying to uh, blow a bit of steam out in the first couple of sessions early in the week, but they should be right to go this week. Have you had to do any extra sort of segregation or just the typical things that we're used to now with COVID in recent times? Yeah, I think pretty standard protocols there. Um, if you you know you're feeling a bit under the weather, you you, you stay away from the group. Um, you might have your meetings um, separately as well and just catch up on those as you go, but uh, the, rest of, the rest of it's been pretty clean cut. What will be the uh, go with Devin this week and we thought he might be unavailable for a month? Is he now going to slot back into the program or will he now do that, that work away from the yeah, it's a good call. I'm not sure what they'll do with Dev there, but just an unbelievable effort from him on the weekend. He, you know, he's come into the club to do rehab. I'm pretty sure he was on an Alter G machine when Truck called him to say, we need you to fire up tonight. So, you know, Dev hadn't trained for, for a week or two. He had hardly touched the footy and for him to come in and play his role like that it was super. So um, I'm not sure in terms of the actual protocols for him going forward. It's fair to say probably Dev, Dylan Shield, Matt, a couple of the other midfielders have come for their fair whack of criticism over recent weeks. Did you get around them at all and just remind them that you know they are the players that you know them to be and that, that they are doing their job and they will get back to doing the job how you want them to.
too? Yeah, no doubt. I think we've got an enormous amount of care for those boys, absolutely. And I think for guys like that, they're just as hard on themselves as anyone else. So um, they took it in their stride and um, going to work on areas that they need to improve on, as have all of us, to be honest. It's, um, everyone's chipping away at that. So, um, yeah, I think they responded really well. Um, and they're, you know, they're the type of character that those boys are, um, you know, they're going to stand up and, and improve on their game for sure. Uh, Rutz and the coaching staff sort of leading into that game released the shackles a bit, little bit and, and maybe simplified their coaching. Is that something that will continue now, do you think, to try and take momentum out of this last win? Um, yeah, look, uh, not not so much an element, element of simplified. I think it was just a, an era of freedom for the, the rest of the playing group and it seemed to click for us. Guys just playing on instinct, playing with flair. Um, we seem to get our real you know, drive and energy back in our, in our ball movement and um, you know, felt really connected as a unit throughout the game. So um, hopefully to carry that forward. Criticism of the guys smiling at training. What did you think of that? Did you take any notice of it or like... What do you think of it? Oh, no, I heard it, heard it second hand. I, I didn't see, see much of it, but people send a couple of things through and um, genuine carry on from a lot of people. You know, you're going to tell your kids or wife to stop smiling if they have a bad day at work. Um, you know, I'm always an optimistic, positive type of bloke and I'm going to come in as my authentic self and that's enjoying my time here and celebrating my teammates and um, whether that's in a win or a loss, you still get around your teammates, you celebrate them, uh, you try and enjoy this environment and, and bounce back out of it. Seems like you're having a bit of fun yesterday on the massage table with the fire alarm. Pa. <laughs> Yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> yeah I, just, I had just got on and I thought, nah, I'm, I'm cashing in on my treatment time here. So we dragged the table out and all good. When, uh, whenever you see him take on Sydney, it always seems to go down the wire. Is that what you're preparing for again this week? Yeah, no doubt. Um, always enjoy these games, actually. We, we've had some, uh, some close ones over the years and... Um, yeah, it's always a you know, very tight contest, especially around contested footy and around the ball. Uh, it's, um, it should be another enjoyable one. 